Lewis, aka Shauna. I am an intuitive reader, uh, a professional in the beauty and wellness industry, a Reiki practitioner, all this great stuff, and the goddess herself right here in the flesh. Thank you. Welcome. If this is your first time um, to my channel, thank you uh, for stopping by and having tea time with me. And if you are returning, let me know what teas you're drinking. Leave it down in the comments below and welcome, welcome back. Real quick, let's take a sip. It's, look at that scene. That's, that's piping. Oh, but so good. This is a green tea that I am sipping on today. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button, um, the little bell, and just to make sure that you get to see all the new videos that's coming up as well. Um, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Sonora Mystic Tarot. It's also another channel on YouTube, and it is one of my closest, closest, my brother, my my, my home skillet, <laughs> Don. Um, we collaborate on decks a lot and uh, one of the decks which i love so far and that i've been working with is modern wish tarot so um i will be doing um mercury retrograde readings in the next for each zodiac and i'm going to be using this deck that i was gifted with um, and the uh, Archangel deck as well, Oracle deck. But, anywho, let's get back into tea time. Now, the reason why I wanted to do tea time today, and you know, not just also being on camera, getting more comfortable with that, <laughs> but uh, talking about the Mercury retrograde, which is the last metrograde, metrograde, retrograde, Duh. retrograde of 2021 so um it's the last one y'all the last mercury one and this one is is it's not as harsh as other ones usually are um this one this main theme of this uh, retrograde is all about communication. So it is very, very important um, how we communicate, what we say, how we say it, and um, that energy behind that as well. So I'm gonna dive a little deeper into this retrograde. Also, if you uh, haven't already, please like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell just to let you know when the new ones are being uploaded, new videos being uploaded, not just tea time, but I'm bringing in more um, videos of wellness. Um, also, oh, I have the retrograde, uh, Mercury retrogrades, uh, Zodiacs um, readings coming up very soon. Um, so that will be um, on the playlist of all the readings. Anywho, let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Uh, well, into this tea time. Um, did I mention what tea I was drinking? Did I say a green tea? I think I did. Okay, so this is a green tea, uh, super, super anti um, dioxin and we need it right now for cleansing <laughs> so if you keep seeing me looking down i do have notes because i love taking notes and of course whatever spirit is going to have you know come through i'm coming through with the messages as well so real quick the major energy of this retrograde is finding that mental balance between um, our relationships and our own personal aspirations. Um, getting involved with all of that uh, is is taking it, it. It may feel like it's taking a toll of trying to figure out how to balance uh, all of this new coming in, but instead of the new this retrograde wants you to revisit things that you have already 
put out there, seeds that you have already planted, just to make sure you cross all those T's and dot all those I's. Now, this is centered, this retrograde, this energy is mainly centered on relationships and uh, communication. Like I said, communication is real, real big. Let me tell you a quick story. Last night, I was on my phone and then all of a sudden, it just started going crazy. Now, retrogrades, Mercury retrograde also uh, affects, you know, technology and all that great stuff. But in this sense, it had me kind of freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, what is going on with my phone? It was just, I was like, hey, I have an iPhone. We shouldn't be messing up. Not saying anything about no Androids, <laughs> but I'm talking about iPhones right now. And my phone was just acting a little crazy. Hence, I felt I, I needed just to put it down and really center myself back into um, me and to reconnect with myself since I've been connecting outward so much. Also, so we're going to expect, that was my little quick story about the technology uh, part of the retrograde. Um, but real quick, so what we're going to expect with this retrograde is going to be some, some problems in communication. There's going to be some people, especially with the people that you have close to you, um, you're going to expect some delays and misunderstanding and even some arguments, which is not good, but it's necessary. Um, and it's going to be like heightened around this time, but don't fret. This retrograde is, is today and it will be ending around October um, 18th around that time and then going in that phase and then I think we have but I believe all the planets are in retrograde right now so around October going into November and December and January we're going to be phasing out of those retrogrades which is which is awesome um uh if you feel like everything is <laughs> on your shoulders in your head and all that energy so, um, during this time, it's really important, I can't stress it enough, of how you communicate. So, let's break down how to approach this, approach this energy. Really, really important of having conversations in person. Not through text, not over the phone, really in person. Um, that way, it, that person can understand, okay, I feel your energy of where you're coming from. Now, this can also uh, affect your potential partners if we're talking about um, romance and or new love. So you want to be very, very clear of how you're feeling, what you're feeling, but talk about it in person. We live in age in a in the era right now where technology is really, really big on how we communicate and not taking anything from it, but we kind of do need that one-on-one -on -one, um, conversation, that one-on-one -on -one time with, you know, with another living being, <laughs> you know. So um, stay on high alert. That's my next one, my next how to approach it. Stay on high alert all the way. Um, it's just, it's like having your uh, spider senses, they're tingling. Let that be, let, you, let that be known that um, something is up, but it's not also, it's not saying something is up around, around you, it could be something up with you. So take, you know, acknowledge that and you will be fine. Also, avoid playing games. Now, <laughs> not the games like you go football, basketball, anything like that. I'm talking about the games that people like to play with communicating. Um, so just be upfront, be clear, be very, very clear and upfront of what you are trying to communicate. Also, my big thing is gossip. Gossip is a big no-no. It shouldn't be a thing period but we have a tendency to do it um, so we should avoid it right now uh, as a collective 
it's hard because it's be juicy hence tea time <laughs> but um do your best do your best to avoid um gossiping um watch your words also honey watch them all the way they come out the way the tone with it everything watch your words because they can be detrimental to you or to another person and you that saying the power lies in, in the tongue and that is very very true of what you want to bring into what you want to manifest into your life um, the people that you're trying to communicate with just watch your words okay so what we mainly need to do is reject that negative energy reject it that that comes and, and confronts you and it's easy it's very easy um, just don't give it no time no space no any of that um, if you invite it in though there is a possibility a huge possibility that it can spiral spiral out of control and everything else that you have built up um, you will literally see it just you don't you you're confused and you don't know what to do in a situation and it can cause depression it can cause all these negative energies to come up that doesn't serve you whatsoever so if you rock with this energy though let's be clear you'll find this retrograde will be so much easy to um to move with and to uh to flow the flowing the the, the part where it comes in of uh, it being um a lot I want to I want to keep saying easier because that's where that energy is the positive thing that uh, that's that comes with this is it this energy is also going to allow you to rediscover it now I'm gonna have a lot of reads R E okay <laughs> rediscover rethink things refocus reposition uh, getting things done that you have already started and that you have let well that you have put on the back burner and said you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get it done I'm gonna get it done I'm gonna get it done well now is the time to get it done so that's why I was saying it's not a good time to start anything new whatsoever but this is a perfect time to finish what you have already started um, revisit renew it redo it if, 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 if it's not right uh, recover I like that word recover um, and remember remember how far you have came already don't take it as um, like oh I haven't reached this particular spot where you want it to be at at this particular time it's not your time yet it's not it's all in divine timing so slow it down reconnect with yourself okay so oh and, and reflect 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 on yourself reflect on your actions reflect on any projects that you have going on reflect on relationships reflect on your job your career reflect reflect yourself period also um, work on this is the time to work on self-awareness if you can't connect to yourself this is the time to meditate this is the time to write your thoughts down this is the time to um, get back to the drawing board and figuring it all out working on your frustrations things that trigger you things that piss you off things that are frustrating to you how do you find those solutions okay so this is the time and it's important 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 the most important one that I can say is get back into healing yourself okay healing yourself not popping a pill healing yourself actually heal yourself by coming out of your comfort zone um, if you haven't already now 
some have been feeling this energy way before today, which I can say I, I have, I have, and diving deeper and, you know, working on that shadow side, this is what it, this is what this is about. Um, you, y'all heard me a lot to talk about um, working with shadow work and all, and sometimes it can be very hard because you feel like you got to do it by yourself and technically you are doing it by yourself in a way that you don't need anyone else's help you just have to hold yourself accountable of how you feel and it's okay to feel these things it's okay to feel the way you feel no one is taking that away from you or saying that is wrong but address those issues and move forward don't move backwards keep moving forward so in that such i hope i didn't speed too quickly through this retrograde retrograde the last one <laughs> mercury one um of the year is i have an affirmation for everyone um even for myself i give myself permission to do what's right for me now the important word is permission a lot of times we uh, say that we are we, we're doing it, but we're really not doing it. <laughs> we're really not feeling it. So in that sense, once again, I give myself permission to do what's right for me. And that is basically rediscovering yourself, reflecting, reevaluating what is really, really going on with you um, and how you can change um, your situation. Now, once again, this retrograde is from um, September 27th to October 18th and um, of 2021, but uh, you're gonna get through it. We all gonna get through it. We go, we're making it easy. <laughs> easy peasy. And on that note, um, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, turn on that notification bell to let you know when all the new ones are, uh, or when you know or to be notified when <laughs> my a video comes up one of my videos comes up also uh i thank you um i thank you i thank you please leave a comment to let me know how this energy is working out for you so far also um let me know what teas you're drinking you know this is tea time so i appreciate the teas uh of flavors different diff it's so many different teas out here and still working on getting recipes together uh, for um, tea time at well for tea time as well for you in anyway peace and blessings thank you thank you thank you for stopping by and um, <sighs> I just had to take a breath for a second because the energy I feel is, is this loving energy for you all goddesses and gods and I greatly 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 appreciate you even stopping by and checking out my videos peace and blessings guys and gods.